A priest busted for targeting underage males. It's the latest scandal from the Diocese of Scranton, Pennsylvania, involving a star priest protected and promoted by pro-gay Bishop Joseph Bambera. Bambera is the same bishop who canceled church militants' talks in Scranton in 2011, after getting a call from the U.S. Bishops Conference. It's the same thing the U.S. bishops are doing today, trying to get our rally against bishop corruption in Baltimore, Maryland canceled. They're desperate to prevent church militant from exposing the truth about the way they protect and promote predators. But one way or another, the truth comes out. Here's church militant's Christine Niles to expose the latest scandal under Bishop Bambera's tenure. <laughs> Why are you here to meet uh, little boys, huh? Stop. Why are you here to meet little boys? Um, you were going to take them back to your house, man? No. That's not you? Father Greg Lockney caught soliciting sex on Tinder from someone he thought was a male adolescent. You invited me. Yes. What you thought was an underage child. I thought I was inviting a 15-year-old. Yeah. Okay. okay. You thought you were inviting a 15-year-old. The text messages are too explicit right. to read on air. And I had him call After being caught, Lockney was forced by the undercover operative to turn himself in to police and was promptly charged with attempted sexual assault of a minor and related charges. The sting comes only months after another cleric, Monsignor Jeffrey Burrell, former General Secretary of the U.S. Bishops' Conference, was busted, hooking up with hundreds of men on Grinder. Here I am. Was you tonight, was you willing to have that kid come in? I house? was not willing to have sex with anyone tonight, sir. Oral sex? Absolutely not. Was there any oral sex talked about? No. It also comes on the heels of another sexting sting involving yet another Scranton insider. Parish organist Ed Locke, also caught on camera soliciting sex from a 15-year-old boy. He said, I'm here, come over. Did I say this? Yes. Yes, come over. How do you know all this stuff? I told you it was me the one that was talking the whole time. Oh, that's ridiculous. It wasn't a 15-year-old, it was me. Why are you doing this? As Church Militant reported in June, Locke's brother is former vicar for clergy in Scranton, Father Killian Locke. Praise the Lord! Ed Locke was also longtime organist at St. Nicholas Catholic Church in downtown Wilkes-Barre hometown parish of the notorious Monsignor Walter Rossi. You permitted your son to be weakened, crushed, and profaned. Under investigation by two separate dioceses for homosexual misconduct. The investigations were inconclusive, but critics say they were a sham, conducted by gay-friendly bishops simply protecting their own. To this day, the Scranton Diocese has never publicly explained Locke's abrupt removal, nor has it warned parents about his predation. A pastor at Most Holy Trinity Parish in Cresco faces charges connected to alleged inappropriate contact with a minor. This time, the diocese was quick to issue a statement on the busted priest. Under its long-standing zero-tolerance policy, the Diocese of Scranton immediately removed Father Lockney from active ministry pending the outcome of the investigation, scrubbing his information from their website. Unbeknownst to most, Lockney had a long history of misconduct, which includes allegations of embezzlement of seminary funds to reportedly use for trips with his boyfriend, leading to his ouster from seminary. Worse, all of this was known to the Scranton Bishop, who pushed him through to priesthood anyway. Lockney was a seminarian at the elite Pontifical North American College in Rome known as the Knack, whose prestigious alumni include almost 50 bishops, a dozen archbishops, and more than 30 cardinals. He was slated to graduate in 2008, until he was caught embezzling money from the Knack canteen as a third-year seminarian, who, according to a credible source, was accused of using the funds to take vacations in Prague with his boyfriend. Lockney has denied those allegations, although he did admit to stealing the money. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Does Fellow Knack seminarian and Pennsylvanian Gerald Chantillo reported the theft to the rector, who sent Lockney packing back to Pennsylvania, where he wound up in therapy. 
Today, Chantillo serves as vicar general in the diocese, the bishop's number two and right-hand man. I will continue to do all that I can to ensure the safety and well-being of our children. Bishop Joseph Bambera has led the diocese since 2010, but served in numerous high-ranking roles in Scranton long before that. Church Militant exposed his own track record of sheltering homosexual predators as vicar for clergy. From a 2018 AP article titled, As Bishop Looked On, Abusive Father Ned Got New Assignment, Bambera never reported pedophile Father Robert Gibson to police in the 1990s, instead giving him a parish assignment where Gibson was caught sexually grooming a boy. Bambera's participation in the Gibson case highlights the fact that some of today's bishops, while they were rising through the ranks, helped their superiors shield priests accused of abuse from law enforcement and allowed them to continue in ministry, or at least had knowledge of the cover-up by senior church officials and didn't blow the whistle. Bambera also oversaw the case of Father Albert Liberatori, director of vocations for Scranton in the 1990s, caught grooming seminarians. Nothing was ever done. The priest allowed to stay vocations director before being assigned to a parish. Years later, Liberatori was eventually caught by civil authorities and convicted for sex crimes against a minor. He remains a registered sex offender to this day. As we noted, Bambera is the same bishop who denied church militants own Michael Voris from speaking in his diocese in 2011, claiming his commentary had been, quote, insensitive to people of other faiths. The cancellation came after the U.S. bishops intervened. It was expressed to us by the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, USCCB, that there have been a number of controversies which have occurred as a result of Mr. Vorce's presentations. Let's just read a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, sir. What, what can I do? <sighs> Big walk-in shower. Okay, yep, sir, room sir. for three. Yes, I understand that. I'm not denying Rub that. your chest. Okay, Play with sir. your nipples a little sir. bit. Then start from your foot and move up your leg, okay, working sir. up your thigh. What do you want from me? While Lockney obtained a lower degree from the Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome, he never actually completed his fourth year in seminary, instead spending time at the Liberal Institute for Priestly Formation at Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska. That archdiocese is under the leadership of another scandal-wracked cleric. The Holy Spirit is the gift. That Jesus has promised Archbishop to George Lucas, with his own reported ties to the homosexual network. Lucas was yet another cleric exposed by church militant, with ties to the knack through an alleged homosexual ring involving outgoing rector Father Peter Harmon, along with numerous other gay clergy in the Diocese of Springfield, Illinois, Lucas's previous assignment. When whistleblowers tried to expose the network, they were threatened by Lucas. And he says, if you do, I hate to hear that you got hit by some drunken driver on your way to I-55. Bishop Lucas said, said something similar to me when I was at his office where he said, you know, it's dangerous what you do, Stephen. Stephen, your family will not be welcome at any parish within the diocese unless you disband Roman Catholic faithful. And then he went on to say, you know what you do is dangerous. And my attorney said, take that as a threat. After his time in Omaha, Lockney returned to Scranton, interning under longtime priest Monsignor Joseph Kelly, who ran Catholic Social Services. Lockney then went on to serve for several years under Father Paul Fontanella of Most Holy Trinity Parish in Cresco. Both his mentors would eventually wind up embroiled in their own scandals. Monsignor Joseph Kelly was added to the list of people the diocese considers, quote, credibly accused of sexually abusing a minor today. At least six men have come forward accusing Kelly of molesting them. And he's been named in multiple lawsuits by victims, some accusing him of being part of a gay clerical sex ring in the 1970s and 1980s. The grave threats to the church's public moral witness. As to Father Fontanella, the diocese announced his leave of absence for personal reasons on April 26, 2019. Fontanella had been accused of seducing a married man from his own parish. Instead of removing the priest, Bishop Embera sent him away for therapy before reassigning him to a different parish. 
Fontanella eventually left the priesthood and now lives as an open homosexual. He's another graduate of the NAC. In spite of Lockney's scandal-ridden past, Bambera ordained him a priest in 2011. Worse, Bambera promoted him to assistant director of vocations in charge of helping form the souls of young seminarians, and then diocesan scout chaplain in charge of multiple teen boys. The bishop also named the 30-something priest pastor of Most Holy Trinity Parish, the very same parish once led by his former mentor, the scandal-ridden Father Paul Fontanella. Lockney was also allowed to lead a group called the God Squad at Notre Dame High School in East Stroudsburg, with membership limited to 15- and 16-year-old boys, the same age group he targeted in the sexting scandal. Here he is with a group of male teens at an overnight vocations camp in 2017. Do you think you might have a problem? That is possible, sir. That yes. is possible. Yes. Yeah, I think you might want to get some help okay, and, and get this taken care of. Do you understand yes. that? Yes, sir. Because because you were, you offered these boys to come over and get in a shower with you. Yes, sir. That's the large shower in the parish rectory, big enough to fit three. The home situated in upscale Wyndham Hills, was purchased by the diocese for $310,000 a decade ago. And it's where Lockney invited the boys back to have pizza, chocolate chip cookies, and sex. How many other boys has the priest tried to invite back to his home? From a statement by the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, we are concerned that he may have also assaulted real children and that there may even be victims in the parishes where he worked. Nothing more than the loss of your friendship through sin. Church Militant asked Bishop Bambera why he would ordain a priest with such a troubled past, including embezzlement of funds reportedly to use on trips with his boyfriend. Communications Director Eric Dable wrote back, carefully avoiding that question, instead asserting the diocese received no complaints against Father Lockney regarding inappropriate behavior with a minor during his time in seminary formation or during the course of priestly ministry. A follow-up question from Church Militant was ignored. I don't want to cause anybody harm. That's why I'm here to expose people like okay, this, because you you're are. causing other people harm. I know. I know. I know. Father Lockney was the first priest ordained in Scranton under Bishop Bimbera, in hindsight, the 2011 ordination appears a fitting start to the bishop's scandal-wracked tenure. As one priestly source said, using the nickname attributed to the bishop, quote, this is the Scranton Diocese under Bambi, a cesspool. Christine Niles, Church Militant, Detroit.